baririmbye batirimbira indirimbo imwe nubundi tukomeza na gahunda zacu na uri kuryango banguka rwose batikeze Tu 
Shimwe cyane abona ko imvura yabanje gutuvangira aho gato yari ko ndabona yatuje ngiye guhamagara gutangira kwakira abantu reka dusabe twanza abageni bacu no batwicaje hano rwose bahaguruke rwose bazamuri ibiganza badusuhuza abageni bacu bahaguruke bazamuri ibiganza badusuhuza please bride and the bridegroom stand up and wave to the congregation Twongere dusabe abaje aberekeje umukobwa rwose bahaguruke nabo baramuri ibiganza badusuhuza Mane waho mugisha cyane abaje nawe baherekeje umuhungu nabo bahaguruke badusuhuze rwose Amen Imana ibaho mugisha Reka nuno nsabe pastor Tungwarara na na madamu we bahaguruke badusuhuze Please, Pastor Tungwara and the Mrs. Stand for stand in the greet to the congregation. Are you coming on the wound? You say, Pastor, the wound. I have got a new wound. I come as an angel wound. Pastor Tungwara, please come forward and continue with the wedding. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tinda basuza izina rya Yesu. Amen. Amen. We are so happy to be here. Turi shimye kuba turi hano. How many are happy to be here? Ni bande bishimye kuba ari hano. Abandi ntabwo bishimye. Amen. Amen. I'm very happy to be identified with Rwanda. Tinongiye kwishimira kuba ndi mu Rwanda nanone. Amen. Amen. So before we continue, let me pray. Shall we pray? Dear God, our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you this evening, Lord, for allowing us to be here. Lord, we believe that you ordained this before the foundation of the world. Father, here I am before your people. Lord Jesus 
Christ, may you come down. Mwami Yesu, uze hamwe natwe hano. With us this as we are starting it through the word of God may it be a blessing may it touch somebody father we know the devil is raging but lord we are more than conquerors we bind all the spirits of the nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, may you bless us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. How many are happy? I am happy. Because I am in Rwanda. For a good thing. Amen. Amen. We are not gathered here because someone has died. But we are gathered because it's a wedding for someone. It's a promotion for a certain family. It's a promotion for a certain brother. It's a promotion for a certain sister. That's why we are gathered here. So it requires our happiness. Hallelujah. Amen. Because some are gathered for, for funerals, for COVID. But we are gathered for a wedding. Amen. Amen. So my name is Brother Paul Tungwarara. I came from Zimbabwe. I live in Dubai. Amen. Amen. This is where I met our sister. Alice. Alice. Amen. Amen. She came to church with my mother. My mother. Amen. They are friends. She is my friend to my mother. So that's how they came to church. When the first time I saw her, I just saw something inside her that she loves God. We want to thank God for the parents who can raise daughters like that. You know it's very difficult for a girl to live in a foreign land and come back for a white wedding. We must clap hands for that. That's a well-trained daughter. Some of them they go out and bring they, they go out and come back with the two children but the fathers are not there and the fathers are different but as for this one she came back single and said I'm going to be married in Rwanda hallelujah that's a very good thing and God will bless such a family. God will bless such a couple. Amen. Amen. So before we go, before I wed the couple, as a visitor, see I have come from Dubai. So this is my first time to be here. So I am going to share a word. For, for 20 minutes then I wait the couple and we put a blessing Amen. Amen so we are going to read first from John chapter 1 verse 1 to 3 how many loves the word of God? I love the word of God. That what has brought me this far. I grew up in the rural areas. As a keto herder. I didn't pass away my education. But the word of God. Has brought me this far. 
Now I am in Rwanda. As a keto eda. To wait a couple. And let me tell you something. Even in my country. People are looking for me. They desire for my phone number. But I was a keto eater. What is that? It is the word of God. Amen. Amen. We are what we are because of the word of God. The word of God protected me. Hallelujah. As a young boy. And it, and it 28 January. Uh, 28 January. 2007. At a 2 o'clock. That is when I married that wife. And she is the only one. Hallelujah. Amen. She is the only one. Under the sun. I only have four children with that wife. And I will never dream of changing her. Not even in the dream. I will never change my wife. Why? Because there is something in us. What is that? The word of God. So we are going to read the word. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning. With God. Things made by him. And without him was not anything made. Do you see? What was on the beginning? Amen. Amen. There was no church. There was no bishop. There was no pastor. There was nothing. At the beginning. Hallelujah. Amen. No choir was there. But there was something that was there. Which is the word of God. And brothers and sisters, let me tell you. We will not go to heaven with the church. Churches are not there. There is something you need for you to go to heaven. What is that you need? It is the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you something. Everything will pass away. The world will pass away. Man will pass away. Churches will pass away. Pastors will pass away. Preachers will pass away. But the word of God will not pass away. That is why we tell you to anger yourself in the word of God. How many are getting this? And the word was made flesh. And it dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. The glory as the only begotten father full of grace and truth. The Bible is saying here. That word. That was at the beginning. It became flesh. And it dwelt among us. What does it mean there? That word. That said let there be. We see it now. In the New Testament. Is now Jesus Christ. We have become flesh. And dwelling among us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And dwelling among us. So my title. Yeah. The title of my message. The title of my message. Is. Is. A religion. That works. 
ikora cyangwa idini nzima a religion that works idini nzima cyangwa idini rikora or a religion that gives you results idini ah uh, idini rizima riza no musaruro amen all of us we've got an african background what all of us mm -hmm. we've got african background aha twese dufite inkomoko yo muri africa and we know very well can it be zineza that africa ko africa has been invaded yaje kuvumburwa by false prophets nabahanuzi bibinyoma amen amen those are the religions abona abanyamadini that are popping up baro bazayibe zamukiramo amen amen and some most of the religions abenshi abanyamadini when they come to your family, iyo baje mu muryango wawe. They take what you have. Baza bagatwara ibyo ufite. Hallelujah. They take everything you have. Bagatwara byose ibyo utunze. There are some religions. Harabandi banyamadini. When they came to your area, iyo baje mu gace kanyu. They will take your girls in church. Bagatwara abakobwa banyu ku rusengero. They will take your wives in church. Bagatwara umugoro wawe ku rusengero. Those are some of the religions. Abona banyamadini. They break marriages. But there is a religion that brings people to this point. Amen. Amen. What is that religion? It is the religion of Jesus Christ. We see when Jesus was here on earth, what was he doing? He was healing the sick. He was solving problems. He could feed people. That's what the religion of Jesus Christ was doing. But the religions now that are that are now there. The religions that are now there. They are taking people's monies. You can work for two years and save some money then some so called prophet will come then he will tell you to sit some man that you have worked for five years I don't believe in that I believe in a gospel which helps you which multiplies what you have hallelujah, hallelujah. I believe in a religion I believe in a religion which gives you even a job when you are jobless. That is what I believe in. I don't believe in a religion which takes everything that you have. Are you getting me? How many are getting me? Hallelujah. Amen. So brothers and sisters, especially in these end times, the Bible taught us that false prophets shall rise. And it's their duty to rise. It's their duty to be there. They must be there. So that the scripture is fulfilled. So we want to thank God for this brother and sister. For this brother Peter and sister Alice for their decision to get married. God is going to bless that. Because God loves marriage. Because the Bible says, He who finds a wife, He who finds a good wife, receives a favor from God. Amen. Amen. This is the word of God. Brother, let me tell you, if you want to be safe, stay with the word. Stay with the word. If you stay with the church, one of these days the church will disappoint you when the pastor falls in adultery 
You get disappointed. But when you stay with the word, the Bible will never change. Men can change. A pastor can change. Pastor Church can change. Prophets can change. But the word will never change. Amen. Amen. What are we talking about? We are bringing back people to the word of God. We are bringing back people to the word. We are bringing back people. Aha. To the word of God. And get angered. In the word. Amen. Amen. I know my time is, time is not on my side. So I have to marry the couple now. When I come back to Rwanda, maybe I'll come to preach here. Amen. <laughs> God bless you all. So we are now going to the marriage covenant. I'm going to propose the marriage covenant. Amen. Amen. This is now serious. Because God is now watching this. And whatever you are going to promise here, heaven is watching. Heaven is watching every move that he shall do. So our wedding. Or the cave and you are going into. You are not allowed to go back. Brother Peter, you are not allowed to change your mind. The contract you are signing is still dead separate you. No small house is there. No small house is there or another wife, another girl. You hear me well? No another girl there. No another private girl. Only one wife. This is the marriage I'm giving you today. And you must keep that one. Right. I'm proposing the marriage covenant now. Dear beloved, we are gathered here together in the sight of God and the, and the, and the face of his company to join together this man and woman in holy matrimony which is commanded by St. Paul to be honorable among all men. It is therefore not, not by end to be ended into unadvisably or lightly but reverently Discretfully, soberly, and in the fear of God. Amen. Amen. Into this holy state, these two persons present come to be joined. I want you to listen to this now. If there is anyone that can show us a just cause why they should not be lawful joined together in this holy matrimony do you now speak do you now speak or from here after forever hold your peace the covenant is saying here, if there is anyone who has a just cause, why we should stop now? Why we should say we can't, con we can't continue? If there is anyone like that, maybe who is saying, Brother Peter,
Amen. Amen. But the word of God is involved in saving someone's soul. Amen. 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 Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. So let me continue. I ended where the government was saying, from today, hold on your peace. So let's move on. I will require and I will charge you both as you surely answer at the day of judgment. Ah. Uh. When the secrets of all hearts shall be disclosed, if there is either of you that no end in impediment, why you should not be lawful joined in this holy matrimony? Do you now confess it? For be it assured unto you that any couples that are joined otherwise than God's word doth allow their marriage is not lawful. Amen. Amen. The covenant is saying here if you have something in your heart which need to be confessed, you must confess it now. Or else, if we continue like that, before God is unlawful. Amen. Amen. But duly believing you have considered this solemnly obligation, you are about to assume and that you have prepared to enter upon the same reverently, discreetly, soberly in the fear of God. I shall propose the marriage covenant. You witness this witness the same as you joined your right hands together. I will ask the couple to stand up. I will ask them to come and stand here. Maybe you can separate hands for now. Okay. Are we together? Three Right now, I will ask the father of the of sister you, sister Alice to come and take the hand of sister Alice and hand over to brother Peter. Take the right hand. The right hand and join together. Give to the to brother Peter. Yes, like that. Amen. Amen. 
Thank you. You can sit down. Murakoze cyane. Wakwicara mzee. This shows us ibi bitwereka ko that we are in agreement. Ko twemera nkwa. Amen. Amen. This shows us ibi bitwereka ko that the father is agreed. This is what we want. You young brothers there. And young sisters. Make sure that you are ended over. Don't go in the night. Don't go by the night. Do it plainly like this. While least the parents are watching. And I believe God will bless you. Amen. Amen. Can I drop my testimony there? Do you still have time? Me, when I got married, I had completely nothing. Nothing. Not even a bed. Do you hear me? Not even a pot to cook. No blankets. But I did like this. Hallelujah. Amen. I did like this. I better to get to get it done. I struggled to get it done. But I did it like this. And, I, and we got our white wedding. And in the moving of time, as time was moving, God blessed us. Tremendously. Beyond of what you are thinking now. Hallelujah. Amen. God has blessed us. Amen. Amen. I did not become a preacher because I was stranded. No. Amen. Amen. I did, I did, I, it didn't happen. I, it, it did not happen that way. Amen. Amen. You should know your calling. Amen. Amen. So I will ask brother Peter and sister Alice to join their right hands. As I propose the, the marriage covenant. Right, brother Peter. Will you have this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? To live together in this holy state of matrimony? Do you promise to love and honor and cherish and support in sickness or healthy? Riches or poverty and forsake all others as long as you both live. Do you promise, Brother Peter? Can we have a mic? We don't want excuses after five years. We don't want excuses after five years. That I didn't hear it, I, I didn't hear it well. We you want him to promise while well, everyone is watching. And everyone is hearing. So what? So we want him to promise. Maybe let me read it for him again. So that he won't give me excuses. Brother Peter, we yes, will we have this woman to be your love wedded wife, to live together in this holy state of matrimony. Do you promise to love and honor and cherish and support in sickness or health, riches, poverty, and will forsake all others? 
as long as you both live. I, Beatrice Guatau, I promise Alice to love her forever. And there is nothing will separate me to they do us part. Thank you. Amen. It's not us we have said it. It's not me we have said it. But he has promised before all of you. He has promised you. Brother, let me tell you something. You are not promising Alice only. You are promising also the father. You are also promising the mother. You are also promising Angus. And you have also promised heaven. Because heaven is watching. Because the biggest challenge we have is when people are blessed. When they are blessed, they will begin to new for they begin to look for new things. They want to change wives. That is why most of the people are poor. Because God knows them better. He knows that if I give this one money, the whole family will be in trouble. The in-laws will be in trouble. The uncles will be in trouble. So brother Peter, if you keep this, God is obligated to bless you. I go to Sister Alice now. Sister Alice. Sister Alice. Alice. Will we have this man to be your lawful wedded husband? To live in this holy state of matrimony? Do you promise to love her? To love him? Honor? And cherish? And support in sickness? Or health? Riches or a prophet and cleave thee only unto him as long as you both live. We want to hear your voice too. I, Alice, I promise to love Beatrice as my husband. Amen. Can we clap our hands? This is the marriage. This is the covenant. They have made a promise. Brothers and sisters, we have come from Dubai to witness this. I was in Africa. My wife was in Dubai. And we agreed, let's meet there. And I'm supposed to go to Africa. Again. So it means, when they want to break this, when they want to stop this, if they think of stopping this, they must buy me a ticket. And gather all these people again. And we come, we do, we do it, we do it at the courts. We do it uh, traditionally. Then we come to church and, and stop again. And then we come to church again. If he plans to stop, that's what he must do. <laughs> He, said, he, he, he promised it will not happen. Do we have so we shall require the rings. the rings
we pray Dear God, our Heavenly Father, we come with these rings before you, which is a sign, Lord God Almighty, and as a covenant that these two have agreed to love one another till death separate them. Father, we bless these rings in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Oh, we require brother, brother Peter to take one, one of the ring and put it to Sister Alice. Yeah, you can do it. Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. You also ask Sister Alice to put the ring to the husband. The son the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Uh, I don't know if they can kneel down here. Or uh, oh. What is the We pray. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, the Creator of heavens and the earth. Lord God Almighty, we know even in heaven, the angels are happy. And you are also happy. Father, I bring this couple into your presence. Lord God Almighty, we bless them. Father, Lord Jesus Christ, because you like this program. We are now blessing this couple in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, whatever they are going to do from now, as a couple, Lord Jesus Christ, may you bless it. Father, may the favor fall upon them. Father, whatever they have been asking for, whatever they have been going through, whatever they have been requesting from you, Lord, we believe, Lord Jesus Christ, that you are here with them and you have allowed them to be joined here. Father, may you grant their requests. May you protect them. Protect whatever they shall do. Even their children's Lord. May you also bless them. Be with them, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. There is only one part.
Now we, will, we, we are coming to a point where we must know is this the real husband? Or he was standing for somebody? Maybe he has been sent by, by his brother. Maybe brother Peter, brother George has sent you to represent you, to represent him. But if you were representing, the point we want now, the point we are coming to, it, it only needs you. So I will ask brother George, who am I going to ask? George. Oh, brother. Who Peter. am I going to ask, Brother Peter? I will ask you to remove the veil. And maybe when he's your wife for the first time as we are going <laughs> <laughs> yes. Amen. For sure, this is the groom. So, brothers and sisters, I will pronounce before us his brother and sister, Peter Joseph. Brother and sister, Gotau. Gotau. Gotau family. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. I have finished my work. Now they have to sign, have to sign their papers that the pastor has prepared for them. So, and, and give them a certificate. So I will ask my co-worker to finish the job. God bless you all. Till we meet again. I believe I'm going to come here to marry other couples. And don't fear for me. I can fly with my own money. And I will never request you to buy me tickets. Never. Oh yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the God that I serve, the God that I worship, can bless me. He can give me that one. Maybe when I will come back, I will bring my private jet. God bless you. I'm asking a bride and the bridegroom to come forward and put a signature on church's book.
Bosa jayu kwa nicha mjita wo, sinye, andika mazina na sinye. Jeni ya jeku andika mazina ya nasinye Waba hali kitu na wali hafi Wali kitu musore Wali kitu mujeni Waba hali kitu Muzi musinya na mwe Izina nisinya Aha Matron Kadi sawa mudi yako na tuzani ida certificate itangi. Wondi mono atinzi kizame ahabga diplome changu mama nyabu mengi au naore ro atinzi rugo si mero ya baya jisore rugo si jikoa certificate rugo si mwachire certificate yangu. Sawa wadidi mjibijire hino Sababari ni mjirgo sse, muri ni bwe korasi. Alikuwa mkuu tu andu senga unuone demasa haji, du senga tu rangiza, unuone muri ni baba jeni baso hok. Lekati sawa unuone pasta wa sasa la nje, asa asa bi rumujish. Please pasta come forward in the grace of congregation as we are leaving. Yanz. Nekat dua guru ketuk sedu sesi, tu yang waktu sesi ada tu jenda. Mana data? Teragu si mi mana? Kau ini gahunda tu mnyiwa. Mengapa tu ini zera ko? Infat itu sesi teraja ho. Ini gahunda orang ini. Imbere atau ano mengenai data guata? No, na nari se wahumu jisha. Kandi wahumu jisha. Wadiwe se waje hano. Kandi na ba andi bosi watala gira kuri njingo wahumu tima kubikora. Wahumu jisha duta ashe. Wahumu jisha pastor hano. Wahumu jisha tera rorje. Wahumu jisha yitera rorje ose. Kwa tu miyega hundi vera hano. Nizi na Jesus Christo. Tukizara kuchiri mana ya indi. Uri hagati ya chuo. Yuto yu sabi mizina ni Yesu. Amen. Imani ba humo jisha chani. Tusawe na wondero. Abageni wa chuo wa zimbere ba tangu kana kutoa shaga yuto ni nyuma ya abo. Kura abadi limjina wao abadi limba.